This lesson will be about angles, and we're going to study about parts of an angle, how to name an angle, kinds of angle, and how to measure an angle. So let us start by defining what is an angle. Angle is the union of two non-collinear rays with a common endpoint. So as you can see, we have an illustration of an angle. And in here, these are the things that you need to remember. An angle has two rays, which are AB and AC. So when we are naming a ray, we must start with the endpoint. That is why it is named as ray AB. And the other one is named as ray AC. And to identify their common endpoint, we have point A as its common endpoint because it is the endpoint of ray AB and it is also the endpoint of ray AC. So this means to say that if two rays have different endpoints, then it cannot form an angle. Next, say we have this as our example. What are the rays of angle SKY? That's correct. We have ray KS and ray KY. Again, when you are naming a ray, you must start with the endpoint. So next, what is the common endpoint? That's correct. Point K is their common endpoint. Well, how about with this one? What are the rays of angle FUR? That's correct. We have ray UF and then ray UR. Again, you should always start with the endpoint when you are naming a ray. Sa Tagalog, dapat Kapag pinapangalanan ang ray, dun ka magsisimula sa endpoint. That's why it started with you. So the next question is, what is the common endpoint? That's correct. We have point U as the common endpoint. So let us study about parts of an angle. So from this illustration, let's try to identify the parts of it. The first one is the vertex. Our vertex is point E which is also known as the common endpoint. So again, the common endpoint will be the vertex. Next one will be the side. As you observe, the side of the angle is also the ray of the angle. So for example, in here, we have ray EL, which is also known as a side of an angle. And we also have here ray EP, And next one will be the angle. So this is the angle. Ito ay yung kung gaano kalaki ang buka mula sa unang side hanggang sa pangalawang side. Later on, mapapag-aralan natin kung paano na may measure ang mga angle at kung ano-ano ang mga tawag sa iba't ibang uri ng angle. So again, you just have to remember that the parts of an angle are the vertex, the sides, and the angle. So next, how are we going to name an angle? Paano nga ba pinapangalanan ang angle? So for example, with this illustration, this can be named as angle LEP. L-E-P. Pwede rin itong pangalanan as angle T-E-L. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ang nasa gitna palagi ay ang vertex. Tandaan, when we are naming an angle, the vertex must always be the middle. Maliban dito, pwede rin natin itong pangalanan as angle E. At meron pang isang pangalan, yun ay angle 1. Sa madaling salita, we have four ways on how we can name an angle. So, ulitin natin. It can be named as angle LEP, angle PEL, angle E, o kaya naman angle 1. Okay. Let's try this one. Ano-ano kaya ang mga 
pwedeng maging pangalan ng angle na ito. Mabigay ng halimbawa. That's correct. It can be named as angle M-A-N. Ano pa? That's correct. Pwede rin natin pangalanan ito as angle N-A-M. Meron pa ba? Tama. Pwede rin itong tawagin na angle A. Ano pa kaya? Okay, tama. Pwede rin naman itong tawagin natin as angle 1. So, as you can see, we have here four different ways on how we can name an angle. Madali lang, di ba? Ngayon naman ay pag-aralan natin ang kinds of angles. So, as you observe from this illustration, itong mga batang ito, gamit ang kanilang mga kamay, sila ay nakabuo ng iba't ibang uri ng angle. At yun ang pag-aaralan natin. The first one is zero angle. It is an angle that measures exactly zero degrees. So, kung mapapansin nyo, walang buka. Andito lang siya sa side na ito. At dahil doon, ang measurement niya ay zero degrees. Next one will be acute angle. It is an angle that measures greater than 0 degrees but less than 90 degrees. So, for example, this is an illustration of a 10 degree angle. So, mapapansin nyo, maliit lang yung kanyang buka. 20 degrees. 30 degrees. So, kung mapapansin, habang tumataas yung degrees, lumalaki din yung buka ng angle. So, again, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, 60 degrees, 70 degrees, and 89 degrees. Dapat natin tandaan na ang acute angle ay may measurement na less than 90 degrees. Kaya, hindi ito aabot ng 90 degrees. So, ang mga angles na 90 pababa, ang sukat ay tinatawag na acute angle. Next one will be right angle. It is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. Kung mapapansin nyo kanina, ang pinakahuling measurement dito ay 89 degrees. Dahil kapag ang measurement na ay 90 degrees, ito ay tinatawag ng right angle. Next one will be obtuse angle. It is an angle that measures greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So, ano yung mga numero na greater than 90 but less than 180? So, let us give examples. 91. So, kung mapapansin nyo, mas lumalaki yung buka ng angle. So, sumunod ay 100. 110. So, again, ito ay ang buka ng angle. Ito yung measurement na. 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, hanggang 179. So, itong mga ito ay ang measurement ng obtuse angle. So, this one is a straight angle. It is an angle that measures exactly 180 degrees. Tinatawag tong straight angle dahil ang nabuo niya ay straight line. Next one is reflex angle. This is an angle that measures greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. So, ano ano yung mga examples ng angles na yun? So, we have 181, 190, 200 degrees, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, hanggang 359. So, ganun kalaki yung angle. Kung mapapansin nyo, mas lumalaki yung kanyang buka. Kaya, tinatawag natin itong reflex. And the last one is a perigon angle or one revolution angle. It is an angle that measures exactly 360 degrees. So, nagkaroon siya ng isang complete revolution. Ngayon naman ay pag-aralan natin 
ay kung paano mag-measure ng angles. So, this one is known as a protractor. It is a measuring instrument typically made of transparent plastic or glass for measuring angles. So, paano nga ba ginagamit ang protractor? Okay. Para gamitin ang protractor, itatapat lamang natin yung vertex dun sa pinakagitna ng protractor. At titingnan natin kung gaano kalaki ang buka ng angle. So dito, ang measurement niya ay 40 degrees. Dito naman, makikita natin na nakatapat siya sa 70 degrees. Ito naman ay sa gitna ng 110 at 120 Kaya ang measurement niya ay 115 degrees. Ito naman ay nakatapat sa 140 degrees. 